Hello! Dear students, we want to invite you to watch our new lecture that was created as a Department of Propedeutic of Internal Medicine No. 1, Bogomolitz National Medical University. Lecture Basic Symptoms and Syndromes in Ischemic Heart Disease Purpose of the lecture to learn and understand causes of development, symptoms, signs, laboratory and instrumental data at patients with acute and coronary chronic syndromes. Plan of the lecture is definition of coronary heart disease, pathogenesis of coronary heart disease, classification of it, angina pectoris and of course we will talk about myocardial infarction. So, what does it mean coronary heart or artery disease? It's acute or chronic condition which is based on discrepancy between heart necessity of oxygen and the real possibility of blood supply. What is the pathogenesis of it? First of all, it's of course atherosclerosis of the coronary vessels. It could be also coronary thrombosis, vasculitis of the coronary vessels, myocardial hypertrophy. Of course, it is present infectious theory of it and homocysteine theory of coronary heart disease. Let's look for the risk factors of coronary heart disease. First of all, of course, it's hypertension, smoking, hyperlipidemia and diabetes mellitus. It's called also deadly quartet. Age of patients that are higher than 55 years old, male and the level of fibrinogen and gomocysteine. Classification of coronary heart disease. The main forms of coronary artery disease is sudden coronary death, angina, acute myocardial infarction, cardiosclerosis and silent form of coronary heart disease. What is it in angina pectoris? It is a pain or discomfort in the chest associated with myocardial ischemia. The classification of angina. First of all, it's stable angina pectoris and unstable angina that is up to 28 days. A typical clinical picture of angina, first of all, is chest pain, compressive or burning nature radiating to the left arm under his left shoulder blade in the lower jaw also. Pain is often very intensive. Communication of pain with physical or uh, psycho-emotional stress. Duration of pain up to 15 minutes. Pain subsides after 1-2 minutes after stopping exercise or nitroglycerin. Diagnosis of angina and coronary vessular changes. First of all, you should do ECG only during an attack. You could see depression, uh, rarely elevation of ST segment and T-wave changes. Next, it's, you should prescribe halter daily monitoring of, of ECG. Of course, weight test, bicycle ergometer or treadmill test. You should do also coronary angiography or radiosotop trial. Here you could see ECG during angina pectoris. Please pay attention. You could see negative T wave in first second AVF V3 and V6 leads. T in the two phase V2 lead and the shift in ST segments contours. Please look. For it. Next, it's treadmill test in the diagnosis of coronary artery disease uh, play, of course, a huge role. Uh, during this treadmill test, uh, you mm, could give patients some force. Uh, it's like as a gym uh, test. This um, um, patient uh, walk in it, and uh, you give him more and more force, and you look for the uh, monitor. At the monitor, you could see all leads because uh, uh, they are recording some ECG. In this leads, in some leads, you could see a myocardial ischemia that uh, demonstrated by this stress test. And uh, uh, the speed goes more and more and you could see depression of ST and elevation. And of course, you should stop test after this. Or if patient feel bad, you also should stop this test. Also, during this test, you should monitor blood pressure of the patient. Remember that it shouldn't be higher than 140 per 90 millimeters of mercury. 
Next diagnostic method is coronography of patients. You could see here with atherosclerotic lesions of the coronary arteries. Uh, a row um, indicates to coronary artery lesion area. You could see it in the pictures. Then determination of patient functional class, classification of the Canadian Cardiovascular Society. It has four grades. First grade, it's ordinary physical activity, doesn't cause angina, such as walking and climbing stairs. And second, it's slight limitation of ordinary activity. At the third grade, it's marked limitation of ordinary physical activity, walking one or two blocks on the level and climbing one fly of stars in normal conditional and in normal um, patient. Uh, grade four is inability to carry on any physical activity without discomfort. Anginal syndrome may be present even at rest. So myocardial infarction, it is a necrosis of heart muscle due to complete sedation of blood flow in the coronary artery. Or the impossibility of adequate blood supply uh, to the sudden significant increased myocardial oxygen uh, demand. So here you could see some uh, historical aspects also. Classification of myocardial infarction is acute myocardial infarction with pathological Q wave, ST elevation uh, myocardial infarction, and acute myocardial infarction without pathological Q wave. It's also called non STEMI. Uh, could be also recurrent myocardial infarction from 3 to 28 days, repeated myocardial infarction uh, that are after 28 days and acute coronary syndrome, first hours of acute disorders of coronary circulation. What is the clinical picture of myocardial infarction? Three status. Status anginosus, status asthmaticus and status gastralgicus. Also could be arrhythmic version, cerebral version and oligosymptomatic form of it. So, details of physical examination uh, during myocardial infarction is our view. No changes is possible, of course. Position of the patient orthopnoe, possible cyanosis of the skin, signs of cardiac shock during palpation of cardiac region. You would feel that apex be weakened or not detected. Uh, during percussion, possible displacement measurements of the heart to the left or to the all sides even. Next, it's auscultation. During auscultation, you could hear tachy or bradycardia and also you could hear arrhythmia. Significantly attenuated tones, they are muted, possible uh, protodiastolic uh, diastolic galop, systolic murmur at the apex and friction noise pericardium, the development of pericarditis, you know, that could be. At the pulse, you could feel a uh, uh, tachy or bradycardia, feeling and reduced heart rate values and during arrhythmia, of course, you could feel lack of the pulse and alternating pulse. Blood pressure uh, as often is low. Diagnostic also of myocardial infarction should consist the clinical picture, ECG signs, some biochemical changes in the blood and, of course, uh, visualization of the coronary circulation zone violations, if it's possible to do. What are the ECG signs? Um, first of all, it's elevation of segment or depression uh, of ST segment forming arc of Pardee. Also, T wave changes like negative, biphasic, or coronary T is called. Appearance of pathological Q wave, ECG voltage decreases. If necessary, carrying out monitoring ECG. Please look to this picture, it's ECG signs of myocardial infarction. You could see T wave changes, it's high coronary T. Uh, in V4 you could see it and in V3 it's chest leads. Uh, next, at the next picture you could see ECG uh, with ST elevation, arc of Pardi, we also call it. Uh, you could see at the third lead, at the second, at the AVF, at V5 and at V6 leads. At the next picture, you also could see a myocardial infarction, formation of pathological Q waves. Please look to the second, third, and AVF leads. At the next picture, you could see post infarction, cardiosclerosis, pathological Q wave, negative T wave, in third, and AVF lead. At the third lead, please look Q wave. Also, you could see changes, negative T wave in the third lead also. 
What are the diagnostic methods of myocardial infarction except, of course, ECG? It's changes in the general analysis of blood. You could see leukocytosis on first day and accelerated retrocyte sedimentation rate uh, even three, four days after myocardial infarction. Uh, what necessary for us from biochemical changes in the blood? It's, of course, um, uh, high level of creatine kinase and B fraction increasing of hemoglobin level and necessary very for us um, useful it's cardiac troponins t and i of course you could see changes um, aspartate amino transferase and uh, alanine amino transferase lactate dehydrogenase and hyperenzymia but uh, more necessary mbkfk and troponin tests Visualization of violation of the coronary circulation zones. So you could see during coronary angiography, echocardiography, scintigraphy, um, also could show us this. Uh, thanks for your attention.